winter in the island tells you. So green and so much water. You can hardly imagine that all this will be vanished by July. In the summer that we came here, Hendrik started composting organics to grow our vegetables. But with the Dutch circumstances in mind, rain and rain. And the whole compost pile dried out completely. It was the hot wind, they said. Can you imagine that all this water is gone next summer? And that this river does not exist anymore? Can you imagine what a compost pile is going through in a hot summer by 45 Celsius? We thought we knew something about bacteria. But here the bacteria went to sleep. Those famous bacteria that turn grass into compost. Sometimes you cannot imagine what to do when you look on the outside. And in the inside you cannot see. For example, when you look upon the reflections on the water, you see many things happen. And then you think, this is it. But somehow, this is not it. There is a moment that you find out that you can look through the water when the river is calm, when the water is clear. But okay, to come to the point, whatever we can imagine about composting, one thing is the most important. When we want to make this, of course by now we know we use this. And this. And this. Also this and this. We put it all together. Then we think we can make this beautiful compost because of this. Heat and lots of air. And that's it. But it isn't. Composting is a natural process by means of bacterial action. The bacterial action digests the organic matter. The work of bacteria is by secretion of enzymes. Enzymes are substances that dissolve organic matter. In this process, heat is created. This heat happens. It is a self-regulating process. And it is using oxygen, air. This heat, in fact, is a bacterial energy. It is not a combustion process, it is a digestive process. The more air, the more consuming of organic matter. The more consuming, the more loss of organic matter. So, to limit the consuming, to limit the loss of organic matter, we must limit the supply of oxygen. When we had this pilot plant more than 20 years ago, we found out that aeration of the compost was counterproductive. We decided to limit the loss of organic matter by limiting the supply of oxygen and interrupt the process of oxygen-dependent bacteria. Adjust this process by protecting, by closing off at a certain point. 
where the upgrowth of heat is slowed down at a temperature of about 30 to 40 Celsius. The consuming of organic matter is taken over by non-oxygen dependent bacteria, namely the facultative anaerobe bacteria. The temperature will drop and the consuming is then slowed down. Hereby the organic matter is saved before all is consumed by heat. The amount of humus in the compost is then on a high level. When our compost pile dried out the first summer that we came here, it forced us to face the facts. Hendrik found out how to make compost in a protected environment. We bought some water barrels that we can close off well. And now it is starting to work, summer or winter. On our small scale we copy this principle of consuming of organics by non-oxygen dependent bacteria. An ancient method of composting, as old as nature, charted by microbiologists, defined by means of the microscope, gave us new insights. The small scale on which we make discoveries can also bring about innovation on a larger scale. The works, the effects of bacteria, proven in practice. Compost farming on a small scale gave us the opportunity to apply findings, gave us the opportunity to adjust the method at any time. What we like is the idea of plants for plants to grow grasses and herbs to serve as raw material for composting. That is the idea. Meanwhile we have discovered that growing our vegetables can be done best through non-land based cultivation. Plants in pots and containers, in compost only. This gives us the possibility to recycle the compost and we can see what happens. And our vegetables love it. Plants for plants. For humans.